Welcome to the State Library of North Carolina's instructional series we're calling Information University, or Inform You for short. The following video is the second part of a four-part series on file naming. So how do you safely change the name of a file? You may have noticed there are two parts to most file names. The parts are separated by a period. The text to the left of the period is descriptive. You have almost complete control over the descriptive part of the file name. The part of the file name after the period is the file extension. So what do the characters to the right of the period, the file extension, do? They give you, and especially the computer, information about the type of file it is, the type of information it contains, and the program that the file needs to display properly. For instance, files that end in JPG, TIF, GIF, or PNG tell the computer that they are images. Files that end in RTF, DOC, or TXT tell the computer that they're text files. Many software programs automatically save documents using particular file extensions. This means that the files are formatted a particular way to be readable by specific software and even specific versions of that software. An easy way to change the file name is to open a folder, right-click on the file name, and select Rename. Then, type in what you'd like the descriptive part of the file name to be, being careful not to overwrite the file extension. If the file extension were changed using Rename, the computer may receive incorrect information about what program to use to open it, and you may not ever be able to open the file again. Another way to change the file name is to do so while you're working on it or have it open. When you begin a new document or open an existing one, click on Save As and change the name. This is also the safest way to select a new file extension for a file if you would like to save it in a format that is not readable by only one sort of program. For example, changing a .docx file to a .rtf makes that file readable by more programs than just Microsoft Word. Now that we have covered how to safely change a file name, in the following segments we'll go over tips to help you choose new file names.